Carl here. So today we're going to be doing some advanced aggregated functions using the group by having versus the where clause. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So if you've been following my series, I have a SQL intermediate tutorial as well as a SQL tutorial for beginners. And you can find that information right up in the cards. So in today's video, we are going to be using the employee table, which is going to run this execution. So in the employee table, we have employee ID, first name, last name, age, and gender. So when using an aggregated function, one thing we have to note is we really want to pick something that has more than one for each value for different values. And the one that we can kind of go with is the gender. So what, what we want to do is we want to say select. And then let's just, let's say gender. Then let's count. And I want to count all. Let me say from. employee table and because we're using an aggregated function we have to make sure that we add or include group by and we just group it by gender don't have to do it like that now now we run that we'll see that we have four females and we have seven males no and that's how that's how you basically do an aggregated function to to count the number and I'll just call that the aggregated count function the next thing we can do we can order this by the count and we have the count here let's just go ahead and say let's just call this count actually Let's call this number. We don't want to call it count, we want to call it number. All right, so now that is labeled number, then we can just say order by number. And then we can say either descending Oops, not the whole thing. Run that and say descending. So now you see that the highest value goes first and then the lowest values, or you can say ascending. So it'll be this. And then that, that'll flip that. Okay. And now we can just call this. <laughs> And that'll be using the order by okay all right so the last thing we're going to quickly touch on is let's just go ahead and add this is dive a little deeper into the data and because i didn't build my tables out extravagantly um we don't have a lot of scenarios to play with but we we still can play with this one so we're just going to add age and make sure whenever you add a, a new select so as far as age goes make sure that you add the group by as well so gender then age and go ahead and run that so when you run that you notice that you get all your you won't get any names or anything but you get every male and then if it has multiple males that's the same age it's going to let you know hey you got all here's all your males here's all your females here's all the ages and here are all the people that are the same age so if they're the same age it's going to give you more than one and it's going to give you you know two so we have two people that is the age of 35 and the way you can go ahead and check that is we can just go ahead and do another select statement let's just say all from employee table 
let's run that and if we look at the last two employees they both are 35 so you have two males that are 35 years old and the way we can just kind of look at both of those tables at the same time is you select both of those and run it and you can see here you have two males that's 35 yes there's two males that's 35 let's dive into having right so let's just go ahead and name this one so let's go ahead and build this thing out and this time we want to let's see what we want to do all right so let's dive in some aggregated functions using having so remember when you're using having you have to be sure you have to make sure you remember to add group by and this is how you do uh, aggregated function using having so we're just going to go with some information we have down here let's just say first name last name age and it's given us syntax errors because we haven't established where are we getting this information from so now it's gone so the next step is to go ahead and do our group by so the way you do that you just go ahead and grab the order here And then you can do your having statement and we're just going to say give me everybody greater than or equal to let's see what age we want to go with let's just say 32 all right so now we grab this execute now you see that the only thing is that it's looking for is first name last name age having everyone that is either 32 or older All right and the way we can reverse this we can just say less than and then this will give us everybody that is either 32 or younger than 32 so that's using a aggregated function using having and making sure that when you use that function you have to have a, a group by and there you have it okay i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial if you have any questions if you have any comments make sure you leave them down in the comments if you guys are having any trouble or want me to look at something or have any tutorial requests be sure to leave that in the comment as well share this to your kids share this to somebody that want to learn sql let people know that there's a pretty cool guy on YouTube named Carl that's teaching everyone how to do SQL for free. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, let's continue to learn on the go as we grow. Peace.